Hey boys and girls, our book of the day today is called Runaway Mittens. Runaway Mittens by Jean Rogers, which means Jean Rogers wrote the book. And the pictures are by Rai Munoz, which means Rai Munoz drew our pictures. Pika's grandmother knit him a pair of bright red mittens. No cold can sneak through the mittens, Grandma knits. Her stitches are so small and tight and smooth. Pika thinks they are the finest mittens he has ever had. But those mittens are always getting lost. Have you seen my mittens, Pika says. Have your mittens run away again, Etta asks him. How is that my little brother's mittens won't stay in his pocket where they belong? Etta has always, is always teasing Pika, but she finds the mittens on a shelf where they were put up to dry. Mittens, Pika said, will you please stop running away? At school next day, the teacher says, no one can go outside for recess without caps and mittens. It's too cold and snowy, he says. Have you seen my mittens, Pika asks everyone. George helps him look. At last, Pika spies a bit of red on the floor behind the radiator. His mittens were there all the time, getting warm and dry. Come on, George. Come on, George calls to Pika. Let's go on to recess before it's over. One day, there is a big hole in Pika's mittens. He takes it to his grandmother. I should have made sealskin mittens for my grandson, she says. With the fur turned inside, your fingers will never feel the cold. Oh, Pika says quite quickly, but these mittens are just right for playing in the snow. Grandmother smiles at Pika. You are right, I will get some red yarn and sew up the holes. And when you are old enough to hunt seals and walruses, my grandson, then I will make you some fine sealskin mittens. Now, red wool ones are just right. Pika's family is going ice fishing this Saturday morning. Everyone is ready to go, except Pika. Oh, Mittens, he says, why do you always disappear just when I need you? Pika looks everywhere. The Mittens are not on the shelf. They are not behind the stove. They are not under the couch. What is that bit of red sticking out of your pockets? asks his mother. You need special glasses made just for finding runaway mittens, Etta teases. What I need, Pika answers, are mittens that never run away. Finally, they are ready to fish. A few days later, a big storm comes howling out of the north. The snow swirls in all directions, up, down, around, and about. Pika and Etta can barely see their way home from school. That's a lot of snow. Father has brought Pin into the house and fixed her a box by the stove. It is cool, too cold to have her pups outside. There will be no st school until the snowstorm is over. The sky is bright and blue again. It is so cold and still outside that everything sparkles and cracks. Pika and Etta are getting ready for school. But where are Pika's mittens? Last night they were safe in his pocket. Now they are nowhere to be found. Not on the shelf, not behind the stove, not in his boots. Etta, Pika shouts, come and see. Pin had her puppies last night. Etta looks into the box. Nine little sled dogs with white paws and black noses, she says. But what's that red thing under the puppy? My mittens, Pika shouted. This time you stay right where you are and help Pen keep her puppies warm. Pika looks at the wriggling, squirming puppies. It's all right, Pen, he says softly. I'll keep my hands in my pockets. Spring will be here soon.